The Ihor, what is it and how does it enter our body? The ancients, especially the ancient Greeks, knew of it. There's a lot of things that the ancients knew of that we don't know of today. The Eugenis Laertes, Lives of the Philosophers, Book 8. There is kinship between man and gods, as long as man partakes of the heat. That is why God provides for us, for this reason our God is provided for. Imarmeni is the reason that things are so ordered as a whole and as parts. See the concept of Imarmeni, the biography of Zeno, book G, page 149. Ihor, what is it and how does it enter our body? The sun's rays penetrate through the ether. The ether fills all of the universe, as we know. So the sun's rays penetrate through the ether, whether it is cold or dense, and they, the Pythagoreans, call the air cold ether, and the sea and the dense moisture wet, dense thick ether. These rays also descend into the depths, and that is why they are always animate. And 28, going on to this, everything that partakes of heat is a living being. That is why plants are living beings, but not everything has a soul, which is an exact an extract from both hot and cold ether, since cold ether also participates. The soul is different from life because it is immortal, as long as that from which it is derived is also immortal. Living creatures reproduce from each other by sperm, Automatic birth from the earth is impossible, and the sperm is a drop from the brain containing, containing hot steam. When it's not introduced into the womb, the ihor serum, the liquid and the blood from which the flesh, the nerves, the bones, the hair, and the whole body are formed, have their origin from the brain. And from the vapor within it comes a soul and sensation. This is from uh, Library of Greeks, Diogenes Laertes, Lives of Philosophers, Book H, uh, Chapter 78, 70, 70, 27 and 28 by Pythagoras. This I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Now let's remember that one of the, uh, I just remembered, I want to comment that uh, the ancient Greeks were very, very serious about engaging in intimacy and having a, ch a child produced from it. They would fast, they would cleanse themselves, they would pray, and they would uh, uh, think about what kind of a child they wanted, the, the future of their child, prepare everything properly for it, the coming of a new human being into the world. So I guess that's why the Eugenius Laertes says that first it comes from the brain, meaning that first the child is conceived as a thought and how it would be and what the parents would do for it. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.